Welcome to State of Tech. My name's Jared, and I'm here with two different computers that I've put up against each other because I want to know, is a Mac or a PC better at editing photos? Now, as a photographer, I spend a lot of time in Lightroom, and I spend a lot of time also lately thinking about what's going to get me the best performance. Is it going to be a Mac or a PC? Now, when you're using Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop or any of those applications, those applications typically use more CPU and your memory than they use graphics card power. Now, graphics card or your GPU is good for gaming, it's good for video editing, rendering 3D, there's lots of stuff that it's really good for, um, but if your application that you spend most of your time in doesn't use much GPU, then you don't necessarily have to have a computer that has a super powerful GPU. Now, I edit video a lot also, and so, you know, the clear winner with video editing is, is this laptop, and I'll, I'll link in the description below to a video where I talk more about using this Asus uh, notebook for, for video editing. But as far as photo editing and using Adobe Lightroom, which computer is better? We have uh, this Asus 15, uh, 15 and a half inch notebook here. It's the GL502VS series. Um, it has you know the, the latest processor in it, the i7-6700HQ quad core. Um, it has 16 gigs of RAM. It has an it has a M.2 NVMe solid state drive in it. Um, the MacBook Pro over here, this is a mid-2014 MacBook Pro, so it is a bit older. Uh, there's been one refresh of the MacBook Pro since this one, uh, which was about a year ago, and they didn't really change anything internally. They changed the keyboard and the trackpad and a few little things, uh, but as far as the performance of the laptop, this is still pretty standard as far as the what's under the hood power. This has a 2.5 gigahertz Intel quad core i7 in it, 16 gigs of RAM. It has a PCIe flash. It's not an NVMe, but it is PCIe uh, flash hard drive. Um, and this has uh, a, you know a decent a decent graphics card in it still by today's standards, but it is older. So. When it comes to editing photos, you're really looking at the power that your processor has and the RAM and whatnot that's in your computer. So you have your processor, your RAM, your hard drive, all three of those things kind of work together to provide performance to you. Uh, when you're rendering out photos or when you're exporting photos out of Lightroom, it's not really using your, your graphics card, it's using the performance that your, your computer has uh, in and of itself. So when we're in Lightroom and we're editing photos and you know sometimes I would experience lag because I'd go and edit a huge wedding of 1400 photos and I'd try to do some batch process or I'd try to you know to to change the white balance on a bunch of photos or do anything like that it would be a little time consuming or when you import photos like I import photos and convert them to DNG automatically and when I do that that's a, a time consuming process and then, of course, comes when you're all done actually exporting those photos. So I basically went through and ran the same exact test on all of these. I, I put a card in the side of the computer, ingested that card, uh, copied them as DNGs, and then ran some edits and then exported those photos. And the, the uh, results were really kind of interesting to me. Now, just because this is a new laptop, this laptop just came out a couple months ago, uh, and this laptop is, you know, two years old or a little over two years old, one would think that the PC laptop would, would win. The PC laptop has more modern technology in it. Um, you know, the graphics card, though it doesn't matter too much in the instance of editing photos, is a monster. So what would be the difference between these two? You'd think that the old MacBook Pro wouldn't win in this race. However, with Lightroom fully updated, the latest versions, uh, you know, the photos, all the being the exact same, uh, imported the exact same way, saved the exact same way, the MacBook Pro was a little bit faster. Now, there is something to be said about that. The Mac is a Mac. Like when you are writing software, you have one computer that you have to, uh, you know, make sure that your software works well with. So when you're Adobe and you're writing your your uh, and you're writing your version of your software for the Mac, you only have one Mac that you have to deal with. I mean, you have very few hardware changes that you have to deal with because you have the MacBook Pro, you have the iMac, 
Um, you, you, just, you just don't have too many computers that you have to worry about. But with PC, you have to build something that's gonna work regardless of the architecture of your system. And that may play a little bit into the fact that the, on the PC, it just wasn't as fast of performance in exporting photos. To me, there's, there was a little bit of lag here and there throughout the whole process just because you, they're large images that I was importing, they're large images that I was editing, uh, and I did see a little bit less lag on the Windows side when I was editing the photos, but when it comes down to exporting them, the Mac just seems to be a little bit faster than the PC. Now, I did only run a test of exporting 19 photos. Uh, the Mac ended up being about 15 seconds faster, the Windows, also, Windows computer also seemed to have some sort of a little lag or a hang that may have hindered its performance. Uh, that very well could be you know, something with this computer, but in my in instances here, uh, I restarted the computer, I made sure that Lightroom was up to date, so everything that I could possibly do to make sure that it was a fair test was done. There were no other applications opened on both machines when I ran the tests, and the MacBook Pro was a little bit faster. So. If I had to decide what am I going to buy, um, you know, what, what's what's worth buying? If I'm going to edit photos, use Lightroom a lot, and then just all the other general stuff that you would do with a computer, you're looking at you know about a $1,700 laptop here right now. That's what I paid for this laptop, but this laptop was significantly more expensive than that, about $500 more expensive. Um, you know, and, and even today, if you were to buy this computer, which is two years old, you're going to pay about the same price as what you're going to pay for this computer. And, and so the performance, you know, with, with some of those tasks, Lightroom tasks, sure, they might be pretty much pretty close to the same between both of these computers. But when it comes to other performance, such as editing video and stuff like that, there is no way to beat this computer. So it's really hard to say what's best for you if you're a photo editor, if you're using Adobe Lightroom and you wanna know what the best computer is for you. A Mac and a PC are gonna be pretty close to the same so long as the specs are pretty close to the same and they kinda of are in between both of these computers. The processor isn't too much better in the PC than it is on the Mac. Um, the Mac architecture obviously uh, tends to be a little bit better because all the internals were created to work together Whereas with the PC, you know, they, they were all created to work together, but they weren't created for each other like they are on the Mac. So maybe we see a little bit of a performance boost on the Mac because of that. It's really hard to say. But when it comes down to video editing, this is the true winner here by far. And I recommend that you check out that video because this computer didn't even stand a chance in editing out video. So is Mac or PC better for photographers that are using Lightroom? It really comes down to personal preference in my tests. I've been using Mac for years, rendering out or editing out photos and exporting out photos from Lightroom. I've been using the PC here for the last couple of weeks. And then earlier on this year when I spent some time with PC and there just doesn't seem to be much of a difference in performance there. Unless you went and built a tower, built a, your own PC that had just really high specs, a big processor, lots of RAM, you know, a couple of hard drives and all that good stuff, then you'd probably see a lot more better performance over something like one of these. But if you're trying to stay mobile in the form of a notebook, um, you know, it really just comes down to what platform you want. If you like Apple, if you like Mac, go with the Mac, you're gonna have good performance in Lightroom. If you wanna go Windows 10 with a PC and have that experience, you could definitely go with this computer. So in the, in the description below, I've placed links to both of these just so that you can check out the specs and do a little bit of your own homework, as well as see the prices that are available on these. I've even included what is the most recent MacBook Pro, so you could just see that as well. Uh, so that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I know that I didn't give you any definitive answer, but sometimes that happens. Mac or PC, when it comes to editing photos, you know, it really just comes down to what operating system and, and what you, know, you wanna work with and whether you wanna go with a Mac or a PC. They seem to be pretty close to the same these days. So thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we put out new videos. We hope to see you soon here on State of Tech. Thanks.